knows what the Norks are doing to them. We gotta get them out before they give up any information. But here's the thing. This is Yellow Zone. That means heavy security. And what's worse, the KPA are hunting you, Brady. And I won't lie. It's gonna be hard just to move around, never mind mount a rescue. But we got no choice. First thing you do, you hide your gun. Then you have to use the civilians as cover, try to blend in. There'll be a KPA transceiver in the zone. I suggest you make that your first target. But before you go, we got a few tricks up our sleeves. Look upstairs on the table. I think you'll find it very useful. Good luck, Brady. I'm counting on you. Need to move fast. Hey, Brady. If you're heading out, we got some firecrackers. In the yellow zones, KPA forces will recognize you as a wanted man and trigger the global alarm. In order to avoid detection, ensure you keep civilians between you and any soldiers and stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Engaging in combat will also set off the alarm. If the alarm is raised, the KPA will begin hunting you down for as long as the alarm remains active. If you can break line of sight, then the alarm level will begin to reduce, but you can accelerate the cooldown by using hide spots. Be warned though, you can't enter a hide spot while in line of sight of KPA forces, and no safe house will let you enter at all while the alarm is active. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will end. Distraction devices are especially useful here. Throw them to move enemies out of your path, or to confuse them while you make your escape. Hey, friend. Just another day, huh? You're looking to buy? You ain't heroes, you ain't shit.
What's up, friend? You lost now. This is an These are strike points which must be captured. Voice of Freedom, where you tune radios to the resistance station. Sabotage, where you destroy KPA infrastructure. Acts of liberation, such as saving people from police brutality, and finally destroying the APCs that patrol the streets. In addition to raising hearts and minds, you also earn KPA tech points which can be used to buy weapon conversion, guerrilla toolkit deployment methods, and new kit items. Once hearts and minds reaches 100%, you can activate the broadcasting of resistance propaganda across the district. This will cause the people to rise up and allows access to the KPA's key strongholds in the district.